The new generation Medved armored vehicle, named after the animal synonymy with Russia, is the result of years of effort to develop a more powerful and flexible APC. It features innovative new protection from firearms and holds up to a crew member's Moscow hosted the Army 2016 International Military Forum in September 2016. The Forum is one of the world's largest exhibitions of armaments. Besides traditional tanks and combat aircraft, a new type of armed vehicle dazzled the guests. Russia's next generation Medved armored personnel carrier Medved means bear in Russian. RIR. Located in the Vono Promishlena Company stand, the vehicle's name is no accident. Almost 6 meters long and 2 meters wide. The silhouette of the armored vehicle can be easily recognized. The APC's height is almost three times that of an ordinary light car. Its mass, 12 tons, can be compared to that of a light tank. The Medved can hold a crew of up to eight people, excluding the driver. They will be protected by the vehicle's highly durable armor. Emphasis on the armor The builders of the Bear paid special attention to the armor, whose design features a significant contemporary design. A small air cushion between two layers of metal, which could considerably reduces the force of armor-piercing bullets. There is scope to further strengthen the armor in future. Consequently, the Medved today is one of the most strong, bulletproof armored vehicles in the world. Even the glass and the door slots remained intact during testing. The Medved's armaments make it practically a universal armored vehicle. It has no stationary weapons. Depending on the situation, various types of weapons can be mounted on its movable platform. From mixed caliber machine guns to anti-tank guided missiles. What we have in the end is not a piece of hardware designed purely for the army or the police, but a vehicle that can be used in almost all combat conditions. Lessons from the Chechen war the necessity of building a new generation armored vehicle became apparent after battles in hot spots, particularly in the North Caucasus. Revealed that the old armored vehicles were easily destroyed by mines and lacked any powerful weaponry. As a result, tanks had to perform the functions of the APCs in those battles, something that is both impractical and risky. The unsuccessful use of tanks during the assault on Grozny in 1994 among other things, proved that Russia needed to develop a new armored vehicle.